a huge moment for Shane and company. How many shots of that tire bearer did we have? Man, we had a lot of water <laughs> flying out of the tires. <laughs> so what surprised you, though, Jamie, about the actual race itself? Yeah, so I told everybody leading into this weekend, I'm like, listen, this is more of an event. I wouldn't expect to see a great race being on a street course. You typically don't see that. But I was shocked at the end that we got to see this incredible battle for the lead with Shane and Justin Haley. Um, the fact that they were able to pass each other back and forth. You see the 91 get to the inside of Haley right here. And then Haley counters him. And honestly, at this point, I'm thinking that Haley might move him out of the way, might rough him up, knowing that he has to you know, most likely get a win to get into the playoffs. But they raced each other so clean. And Larry, it seemed like all day long we saw that. Yeah, I mean, not only did we see this race for the win, a clean race, that part of the race, saw it the entire race because I felt like, oh my gosh, we're going to a track that <laughs> drivers have never been on. It has some very narrow sections. And oh, by the way, it's pretty wet right now. I felt like it was a recipe for drivers just to drive through it over the top of each other. But we did not see that. And I think that made for such a good race. I don't want to see it every week, but I felt like NASCAR made a great decision because we keep learning from experiences that they did the single file restarts, even did the start of the race single file. I think that cleaned this race up just a little bit. I, I just think everything that these drivers did, and you know what, maybe the wet conditions, maybe that aided in a better race. You know, if I'd have listened to a driver going up there, I'm not sure that I would have watched this race. We can't pass. There's no way we can pass. We're going to run single file. We didn't see anything remotely close to that. I think that. if you give it a year, though, everyone will know how clean it was this year, mm -hmm. then they'll all adjust, and next year, we'll, uh, well we could, might have a debacle. Could be a different mm -hmm. predicament we're in there. Okay, but the guy who was able to survive everything was this one, Shane Van Giesbergen. First career win for him and his first career start. Very impressive. The sixth international winner that we have seen. So let's hear from Shane and team owner Justin Marks post-race. What an amazing day, like up and down. I struggled in the wet and then I was a bit too polite to people and let them all go and just a whirlwind day. And then to come out and win like this, it's um amazing feeling. Like the team, Trackhouse, Project 91, how they've welcomed me into the team. As the race went on, I got more confident and got more aware of how the drivers race, how much room they give, and it was it was an awesome race. Yeah, amazing feeling, and then to win today, yeah, I, I don't know how to put it into words yet. Well, I mean, obviously, yeah, everything we do at this company is is trying to put ourselves in position to win. I mean, Project 91 was just this crazy shower idea that I had that I, I brought to, um, to the executives at Trackhouse, and you know, thanks to them, they embraced it. And then for a guy like Shane to come in, who's, you know, we really, really believed was a guy that could come here and do this. It's so hard to win in this series, so hard to win in the Cup Series. It's a testament to how competitive and difficult this sport is. And, and you know, so these drivers are absolutely just world class. These teams are world class. And Shane came here and held the wheel and just did, did an unbelievable job. And like I said, just showed everybody here the kind of talent that's coming out of Australia and the kind of talent that he is, three-time supercar champion, embraced it, worked hard, did all the right stuff, made all the right moves, no mistakes. And, um, yeah, it's just an amazing moment for our company and I think a great moment for the sport. A huge accomplishment for Justin Marks and company. We'll hear from him later in the show. But looking at Shane specifically, Larry, what impressed you the most about him from the whole weekend, really? I mean, a little over 24 hours ago, we were all still trying to figure out how to pronounce his name. Well, we know <laughs> we now how to pronounce it. Yeah. It's pretty simple. A NASCAR Cup Series <laughs> race winner. But to me, it started practice Saturday. He went out there and he was fast in practice. He was fast short run speed. He was fast long run speed. But I'm thinking to myself, okay, we know that Shane, Jensen, Button, they're going to be fast out there by themselves. Then he goes out there and qualified third. It's like, okay, that's pretty impressive, but you know what? That's still just a single lap. But when I looked up at lap 30 and this guy is running second, I went, you know what? He obviously is for real. Just And doing things that was out of his element. He had to make two pit stops, one under green, and quite honestly, other than a restart at lap 33 where he got used up a little bit, went from second to fifth, honestly, I thought he had a flawless weekend. Yeah, and, and, and I thought it was interesting. Early on in the race, he got moved out of the way, and, and I heard the guys in the broadcast say, well, he doesn't know how hard they race in NASCAR. And then towards the end of the race, when he was running almost two seconds a lap faster and started passing everybody back, he got more comfortable. And I think that says a lot about his maturity and his ability in a, in a race car, the fact that he kind of knew when to give and take and was able to push at the right time. But I think that when you look at this next-gen car, it fits into the style of, of where this guy comes from. You look at the success he's had in that Australian Supercar Series, 
it fits so close to what we have right now. And I think that almost makes that transition easier than what it was for Raikkonen, who drove this car a couple of times, and some of the other guys that have come over maybe from open wheel uh, to transition into NASCAR. Um, he has some, some history on racing on street courses also in the rain. He said he struggled in that, but obviously we didn't see any struggles this weekend. I will say this, though. The one difference between the V8 supercar and the next-gen car they sit on the other side well, so of the car. Listen, I think that's a, that's a really good point because we saw so many people, Austin Dillon being one of them, Kevin Harvick did in practice, they were hitting the inside wall because they were trying to use as much of the racetrack. I can't imagine how hard that has to be to sit on the opposite side of a car and then try to judge how much room you have. So, unbelievable job. Very unbelievable job. Very impressive he was able to do that in his first start in a Cup Series car. Also, great effort out of the runner-up, Justin Haley. Great top five finish for him. Here he is post-race. I mean, that was my first... Street course start. I mean, he had 16 lap pressure tires, so um, that's tough. It's tough, but um, yeah, I feel like we made the most of it. Obviously, I, I uh, wrecked it yesterday in practice. We started last, worked on it all night throughout the rain. I was in a position to win straight up, right? So um, I've never found myself in that position. So mentally, um, just trying to learn and grow and, and figure out, um, you know, what to do and, and how to balance the car. You know, I don't think our car was great either. So. Um, just super technical and, um, you know, the more I race in, in the Cup Series, the more situations I'll get put in like that and be more comfortable in the future. Great showing for Justin Haley. Uh, did you have him on your car, your bingo card for a good finish out no, there? <laughs> no, I actually talked to him prior to, to going up there over the weekend, and he had talked about kind of some of the sim work that he had done. But something that, that we didn't know and, and, and we didn't hear during the broadcast was how much tire fall off there was or how much there was going to be. And some of that is because of the fact they were on rain tires at one point, and, and you just didn't have a good gauge of that. He obviously mentioned that the 16-lap tires made a big difference. But I think that, that Justin Haley doesn't get the credit for his ability his ability. Um, he's a really good super speedway driver. He's won all those Xfinity races, uh, Daytona and Talladega. And then his ability on the road courses, he haven't, we haven't really got to see his ability yet. And I look forward to see what we have in the future from him. You're right. He is a very underrated road mm -hmm. course racer because he had some second place finishes in the Xfinity series. He actually won a truck race at Mossport. But the 31 team, I talked to Justin a little bit Saturday morning. You know, they headed into this race knowing, even with nine races to go, they're probably going to have to win a race if they want to make the playoffs. And they know their best shot, to Jamie's point, road course, Atlanta, or maybe Daytona. And when you're in that position, you have a different playbook to work from. And I think that's what Trent Owens, the crew chief, did yesterday. When they got that caution, they were able to pit at lap 31, well outside of their fuel window. They were going to have to pit again, but I think Trent was one of the guys that was hedging his bet. I'm not sure this race is going to go 100 laps. And when everybody was forced to pit at lap 42, they get that track position, and that young man goes up there and leads 23 laps. But it was only seven green flag laps fresher tires. Green flag laps. Why are you pointing that it's finger at me? Yeah, I, <laughs> just I didn't point say it. Across. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.